and he hid in the shitter with a paper cone in his mouth. Soon Mike came in with the dog. The smell of feces was too much for the dog to bear. Mike rushed the dog out to get some air. Mike stood outside the door, wondering how Andy could have disappeared into thin air. Five hours later, Andy emerged from the pit. He ran as far as he could. Andy found a big house deep in the forest. He went inside, looking for something to help him escape. A couple of dogs barked behind him. The dogs pounced on Andy. Just as the dog was about to open its mouth and bite Andy, Andy threw the dog to the side. And he sets out on the run in his tractor. A car was right behind him. And he thought it was Mike. He swung the tractor from side to side in an attempt to escape. But the tractor went off the road. He passed out. And he woke up in the hospital. There were a couple of cops outside the door. And he escaped when they weren't looking. But in the end, the police caught him. While Andy was on his way back to the police station, a big truck accelerated towards them. Mike was going to kill Andy. And he struggled to get out of the truck. But the police wouldn't listen to him. The police car was crashed off the cliff by the truck. A man climbs out of a car. He was knocked off a cliff by his rival in love. Mike, luckily, he's not hurt. When Mike came to check on him, Andy held his breath and didn't move. When Mike does get out of here, Andy slowly climbed out. First he shaved off all his hair because of the tracking device implanted in it by his wife, Diana. And then Andy put on some new clothes, set out on his quest for revenge. And he tried to hide out at his best friend Judy's house. But he found out that Judy was tipping off Mike after a lot of coercion. And he realized Mike's real purpose of approaching Diana and himself was to get the company's top secret technology. The tracking device on Andy's head was installed by Judy. Just when Andy let his guard down, Judy stabbed Andy with a knife. After a struggle, Andy finally shot and killed Judy. Andy went home and made up with Diana. But at night, Diana went to see Mike again. Mike found Andy based on Diana's information. Just as Mike was about to die, Andy told the whole truth. It turns out that last night, Diana replaced all the bullets in Mike's gun with blanks. Andy cleaned up the battlefield and left quietly and lived happily ever after with Diana.